over three feet tall. So within the last year and a half, it probably has grown quite a bit. I got to transplant it, which is why you trim, trim off some leaves down there. It'll be going into a bigger pot this, this year. Another day, another shrimp meal. Nate's peeling the shrimp. And I cut up some peppers and mushrooms. And then we're going to cook it all in a frying pan with some riced cauliflower. So I added garlic powder and pepper to all the ingredients. And then we're adding this honey garlic sauce we have left over from PC's chicken bites. Uh, which will make it taste really good. Oh, we got some Sleep Monks Reserve Aiden Coffee Company, Guatemala. <laughs> we just went to the Aiden Coffee Company. Uh, we showed them before. I got an iced coffee. I've never had one from here. It has almond milk and sugar-free vanilla syrup. And uh, they actually make it out of espresso, so it'll be really good. And caramel cream coffee. Yes. Something new to try. Sunday morning. <laughs> now we're just gonna go for a walk with Moxie. I'm attempting to make strawberry cupcakes. So I have some homemade oat flour eggs and then I blended up some strawberries with almond milk, um, maple syrup, and some vanilla. I also added coconut oil to the cupcakes. I forgot to tell you guys that. <laughs> um, now they're baking. Um, I also put coconut oil in the muffin tin. So we'll see how they turn out. They smell so good, like strawberries. Okay, so earlier we went to the little pork shop, or the best little pork shop. <laughs> yeah, in Shakespeare. Yeah, and this is what best we got. little pork shop, it says right on the top. There you go. So we got the smoked pork chops. I usually don't like pork chops, but these more taste like ham. Steak. Yeah, we're going to have them on the barbecue with some asparagus. So when we bought this like barbecue tool, what did the lady at the store tell us? Oh, it's a spanking, it's a spanking tool. <laughs> and she said, <laughs> watch out. <laughs> she was in her like 60s, so it was great. <laughs> I would say she's pretty tuckered out from her day today. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good day. Wine. Fire's almost done. Veggies in the ground and this view. Kelsey is gonna let me cut her hair. Turn around. Wish us luck. Do you think you can actually do this? Don't let Moxie eat my hair. Can you actually do this? Is it gonna work? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't record that, did we? Yeah, it was on, it was not. Uh, I don't know. Okay, sure. <gasps> that was a lot. <laughs> that was
was a lot more than I said. Yeah. So what are you barbecuing? The little, or wait, the best little pork shop. Smoked garlic pork sausage. Gluten free. Yummy. And then we are doing, um, whoops, Brussels sprouts <laughs> and sweet potato with the uh, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and salt and pepper. How do you cook your snozzage? <laughs> <laughs> None for Moxie. You can't have garlic. Sorry. Sorry, Mox. My first barbecued pizza. There you go. Barbecued pizza. Gluten free, oh, dairy free. Thank you, Odos. Oh, well, Mine's pretty good. Oh, hers is burning. What is your thought of barbecued pizza? It's very good. I don't know, the sauce tastes better for some reason. Oh, it's always the Italian seasoning. Highly recommend. Fire tonight. Moxie's just roaming around hoping for scraps. Look at that sky. Look at this. So one of the secrets to making these black bean brownies is that I actually blended the black beans with uh, coconut oil and maple syrup. So you blend all the wet ingredients and then you add them to the dry ones. is going to try the black bean brownies. Oh, Moxie wants to eat it. What do you think? Are there beans in this? Yep. Mm. Shouldn't have told him. Are the things we got at Cowbell. And he got a bunch of different beers. He loves Cowbell. And then I was actually able to get some rose cider and they have a new seltzer that is gluten-free. So it's a vodka drink. 